this video, we'll try to understand package.json template and its syntax and how we can use it and what are the things that we need to make sure while creating the custom images in Azure or AWS or any other cloud platform or on-premise, right? Packer basically uses custom JSON template to create your machine images or your AMIs or your ARM templates in Azure. Okay, it basically uses HCL syntax, means HashiCorp configuration language. Okay, it is a simplified user-friendly notation which will be used in order to create the images. And in that format, we will write your JSON scripts and it is very easy to understand. You can, you can just like your English notation, English words, so you can simply understand this syntax very easily, I'll say. Okay, and it basically divided into four categories. Uh, one is your variables that you need to supply it. If you want to supply the variables separately, uh, we can supply the variables. And builders, the builders will be used. What kind of image that you are creating? Let's say you're creating AWS image. When you're creating AWS image, you need to provide AWS image builder, which is AMI. Right. And if you are creating a Azure image, then you need to provide ARM, Azure ARM as a builder. We'll, we'll understand what it is and how we can provide it and how we can use it in detail in the practical example. Okay. And also it uses provisioners. Provisioners means once a machine is deployed in your cloud platform, what all the custom softwares or what all the customization that you are looking at, that you need to define in the provisioner section. So imagine you're creating a Linux server. Okay, when you supply the syntax and when you execute the JSON template using the Packer tool, it will go ahead and deploy the virtual machine at first stage. Once the machine is created, inside the machine, what all the custom softwares that you want to install let's say your sprint release has a new code new application new release so that you need to copy from somewhere like github or any other puppet chef ci cd pipeline or any other powershell or bash scripting anywhere you want to bring that and insert into your image as a custom software before creating the image that you call it as provisioners and post processors are something once the machine is created what all the things that you want to perform you want to copy the machine images into different different locations and I say different different locations you want to copy this image into different regions within the Azure because when you create an image that's a region specific so post processors you can again write some script or again write some of the user-friendly notations to copy the images across multiple locations or you want to perform some of the cleanup or validation tests and all that you can define in post processors okay let's go ahead and see what is this variable syntax looks like go to okay let's say variables how you how you will define the braces and keyword variables if you are trying to deploy something in azure or aws you need to authenticate your packer tool because packer is third party tool and how how aws or azure will trust you and allow you to access something inside the aws portal in that case what you need you need these keys so these access and secret keys that you can supply in the form of variables then you need to define these in a different file or you within this within the json template you can define in a different section you call it as variables okay and when it comes to builders you are saying what kind of builder it is what kind of image building that you're doing so if it is aws AWS EBS type you need to specify AWS EBS if it is Azure you will supply Azure ARM if it is VMware you will supply VMware syntax 
okay i'm just trying to find out if there are any other syntaxes that it is in the same page no only aws stuff is mentioned here let's go back and see what is this builders we'll talk about builders right ec2 vmware virtualbox azure all this stuff okay so when i say ali cloud these are the keywords that you can use len number of keywords that you can refer here and amazon ec2 overview ebs instance and a lot of other stuff volume builder so what you need to supply you need to supply type of builder here okay type of builder everywhere when you're creating when you're creating aws custom image similarly if you go to azure arm okay what you'll mention type equal to azure hyphen arm that you need to mention where it is where it is let me try somewhere somewhere no 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 pan info no 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 yeah this one right like this you need to mention okay and what else we have provisionals let's go and verify the provisionals as well provisionals means provisionals use built-in third-party software to install and configure in the machine image after booting the after booting provisionals prepare the system to use so common use cases includes things in short once the server is ready in any platform inside the server what all the third-party custom softwares that you want to install that you need to define in the provisional section for that you can use chef client and puppet or shell script windows script any other script you can use and define the provisionals that it supports integration with your automated CSCD pipeline tools okay and post processes let's see what is post processor is post processor run after the image is built by the builder and provisioned by the provisioners post processor optional okay and they can be used upload artifacts repackage or more means once the image is created if you want to revalidate that you, you recreate the image that is a post process test whether it is re con configured correctly or not or you deploy the newly created custom image in order to validate whether it is correctly deployed or correctly created or correctly configured by the packer or not these things that you can define in the post processes right so more of theory but it's hard to understand in a single window of five minutes of sessions but what we will do in the next coming sessions we'll try to deploy some of the templates in aws and azure as well in the next coming session